All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, we're talking about winter fig tree survival. Can your fig tree survive the winter? This is a very common question that I get. I know a lot of new fig growers have this question. Whether or not you're trying to buy a fig tree, plant it in your yard, you live in zone five, you live in zone nine, it doesn't matter. Everyone really wants to know the answer to this question or because we're so close to the holiday season, by the way, hope everybody's having a great holiday season. They're also wondering, because all these cold temperatures are coming in in December and January and February, well, is my fig tree that I planted in the spring, is it gonna survive the winter? And I would argue, by the way, the answer is probably yes. Uh, it's really hard to kill a fig tree, but we really should protect them in the first growing season, at least. Now, if you guys live in a zone, let's say zone five, it's gonna be really difficult to grow fig trees in the ground. Most fig trees will only survive about five to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. There are fewer varieties that are really hardy varieties. If you want a list of hardy fig varieties, you can go to my blog, figboss.com, and check out the list there that I have. I'll put the link in the description of really cold hardy figs. These are special varieties that have the genetics to actually withstand lower temperatures, all the way even down to zero degrees Fahrenheit, potentially. But if you're gonna be in zone six, you're gonna get below zero degrees Fahrenheit in the winter time. Same thing with zone five, but we can offer winter protection methods, which is two methods that I'm gonna cover in today's video to teach you guys about, that you can use every year to cover your fig tree. However, if we can get them through the first growing season, after we plant them in the ground, it becomes a lot easier to protect them in the winter time. And people in zone sevens, eights, nines, and tens won't have to protect them for the most part going forward, assuming you guys choose the right variety for you. So what is that about? Well, if we just protect them in the first year, the reason why they can actually withstand the winter time better going forward is not because they're young and tender, it's because they actually have the right hormones. Yes, fig trees actually have hormones just like us. And they take a while in that first year to really get in a, into the right balance. And so a lot of young fig trees love to grow their first year. They don't fruit very much. We also don't really want them to fruit very much. We want them to grow. But because they grow so much, the branches here that you'll see don't lignify properly. And you can tell that they're not lignified properly by the color of the wood and how easy it is to bend. A lot of times during the active growing season, we'll have wood that's actually really bright green and very easy to bend, so much so that we can take the tips off of our branches and break it off with our thumbs, and that's called pinching. So nowadays though, in the fall and winter time, we really wanna make sure that our fig trees are lignified properly. The best way we can do that is to actually make sure that the hormones are properly uh, situated going into the next growing season. If we do a lot of pruning, or if we have a lot of winter damage that kills off the tops of our trees, or even kills them all the way to the ground, well then our trees the following year are gonna do the same thing they did the first year. They're gonna really like to grow, and they're gonna get to a really large size, and they're not really gonna fruit much. If we can do the opposite in this second year and preserve all of the growth tips here, the apical and lateral buds, the higher points on our trees, and very minimally prune them, going forward, they're actually gonna have the right balance of hormones. They're gonna fruit more, they're gonna fruit at an earlier date, they're gonna fruit at a higher quality, then they're gonna grow slower. And by growing slower, it gives them a chance to actually lignify properly, to harden those branches up, to prepare them for the winter time. And then of course, going forward, they're now in a position to withstand the winter temperatures that I mentioned before. A hardy Chicago fig, as an example, might be one of the hardiest varieties in existence. And it can survive roughly zero degrees Fahrenheit without protection. But I could plant a hardy Chicago fig in Florida or Louisiana, and if they just keep growing all summer and don't lignify properly, and in Florida and Louisiana, where it's actually quite warm, they could only, they could take damage even at 20 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Fahrenheit. It's all in that level of lignification. We can't talk about protecting fig trees without mentioning that. Because even though Hardy Chicago, like I said, is a really hardy fig that can survive down to zero, 
if it's not lignified properly, if we don't care about these hormones within our trees, what are we talking about? So it's really critical to protect them in that first growing season. And so one of the methods that I really like to use for young fig trees specifically is to get myself some chicken wire. And chicken wire is pretty affordable. I mean, you can get it pretty much in any hardware store. This here is, I think, uh, a roll of 100, 100 feet, and I think it's two feet in height. And basically what you can do is you can create a ring around the fig tree that you want to protect. Put some stakes in the side of the, of the ring so it stands upright, and then wrap this all the way around. A lot of times we have fig trees that are pretty small, especially when they're young. Maybe they only grow about three to five feet in, uh, in the first growing season. If that's the case, they're pretty easy to protect. And all we do in that mulch ring, or in that ring of chicken wire, excuse me, is we fill it in with mulch. And by filling it in with mulch, like leaves and straw or wood chips, we're offering our fig tree some extra insulation and protection. What happens is the earth is a heat source. And so the earth rises heat from the earth and it evaporates essentially. I don't know if it evaporates, that's not the right word, but it basically is released into the atmosphere. And so in the winter, when it's zero degrees Fahrenheit outside, the soil actually might be about 20 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's a warmer source of heat than it is up in the, in the air. So the, the heat is gonna rise from the earth and what we wanna do is we wanna trap all that heat in, right? We wanna insulate it. And the way we insulate it is by actually putting in that mulch. That mulch is going to trap in that heat that's trying to dissipate into the atmosphere. I think that's the right word. And, uh, and escape, but it's gonna trap that in. And if we wrap all of the branches here with that mulch and cover it sufficiently and all the branches by the way we want to cover all the way up to the very top we want to cover every single inch of our fig trees if we do that properly they're going to get through the winter time with no problems and we're going to have actually some really good extra protection instead of let's say zero degrees fahrenheit outside well underneath this pile of mulch it might be actually let's say five or even ten degrees fahrenheit another method we can do and this is actually my favorite method this is just so easy to do. Um, all we need to do is get some wood chips delivered or some straw. We can even just use blankets. Uh, you don't even need mulch. Is we're going to then bend these branches over on our young fig trees, bend them really close to the ground, and staple them in here with garden staples. These are the garden staples I use. You can find these on anywhere. Find them on Amazon. I have an Amazon storefront link in my description i'm sure they're listed there and all i do is make sure that these branches are as close to the ground as possible once they get them really close to the ground and by the way you can bend really young fig trees they're always very pliable if they're not so pliable and you can't get them really close to the ground use a brick put a brick on top of it that's going to definitely get it close to the ground and then once you're done all we do is put a, let's say, a, uh, a blanket on top, a concrete blanket, uh, housing insulation, or what I like to do is get wood chips delivered or a bale of straw is another great thing. Just buy a bale of straw or a bale of hay. And then I like to place them right on top of my fig tree that I'm trying to protect. And I will cover, by the way, every inch. I don't want any of my fig tree here above I don't want it sticking out excuse me at all above these wood chips so I'm going to cover every little piece of this fig tree so that none of it is sticking up above the wood chips and that's going to create again all that insulation that I talked about trapping in that heat from the earth and that will solve all of our problems so that right there, guys, is whether or not you have to protect them, will your fig tree survive the winter, how to get them through the winter time, and then also why you really should protect them in that first growing season. I thank everybody for watching this one. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Check out the blog, figboss.com, that I mentioned. We also have some cuttings left for sale if anyone's interested in rooting a fig cutting, uh, rooting some fig cuttings to create some new 
fig trees. We'll talk to you guys later. Take care.